Hey guys, my name is Dee, this is The Heron's Corner and welcome back to my channel and today I have a book review for you guys and the book that I'll be reviewing is Girl, Woman and Other by Bernadine Avarista. So this book is a literary fiction novel and we follow 12 main characters. You just see their life, their struggle, um, all of the different kind of complexities that come with just like living as like a human being and also all of their stories interconnect with one another somehow just to um sum up um how i felt about this book really amazing um this is kind of it paints a portrait of just humans being flawed and being emotional and being wrong and being good and like friendships and familial relationships and like romantic relationships everything is just done with just the utmost sense of humanity and rawness and flaws and um complexity like Bernadine and Avaristo does this so well in her book so I obviously read uh, Mr Loverman in January as well and it's the same kind of thing in that book when talking about characters being not saints and angels and being just like it's a person on the page and that's just the exact same thing with Girl, Woman, Other. Bernadine Avarista just um, does a great job in just putting a mirror to society and saying here is what society looks like. I want to bring your attention to some trigger warnings um, about this book just in case. Um, so there's trigger warnings for like domestic abuse, transphobia. I remember to put like a, um, a list of triggers like, down below in the description box. So while this book deals with a lot of heavy deep introspective issues there's such a sharp sense of humor that like cuts through <laughs> all of that and it's a it's a very human humor as well the writing i do not know how bernardine aristo writes so great it's like water i just like it just flows so well and you're just wrapped up in these people's stories yeah i just really enjoy how she writes in this book and then also as i said we have this um we have this lovely humor that's both sharp both very relatable and there were times while i was reading this book that i was just like laughing because it's so um because it's not like because sometimes it's like it's what i'm thinking or it's like what i know people think and i don't know it's just very realistic for humor and the thoughts that these characters were having so each chapter follows a different character and each chapter is basically like a short story i guess about like this character's life and um their thoughts feelings beliefs and all their different like issues traumas problems and i kind of loved that because you're coming to a chapter thinking one thing about a character whether that's because a previous chapter um talked about them or just you know the first couple of pages like of a chapter you have one idea about them and then towards the end of a chapter you have like a completely different view about them it just made the whole journey like a lot more like enriching and while you see these characters having different opinions about the characters in this book um you kind of have to make up your own point of view about whether this character was actually correct about what she they were saying about another character or if they were wrong or if they were prejudiced and i really love that and that's what the book benefits most from i think like by being so interconnected and having so many storylines that weave into each other it's able to be like self-referential within the book and you see um <laughs> other characters being mentioned and you're like oh that character doesn't like that character but you kind of find out why in this chapters and my favorite chapter of this book would have to be Shirley's chapter and again I'm not going to say any spoilers and that's not because Shirley is a great character Shirley is not a great character at all just like ethically and like uh, morally she is very not <laughs> a good character but um I loved her chapter because it was so rich and so layered with you really see how she becomes a character like towards the end of the book or the character that like people have reservations about and they don't really like you kind of see how she becomes that character and it's so interesting to follow a character that i would know i would not get along with like i would not want to be friends with shelly like at all but it's just fun like it's, um it's fun kind of walking in her boots let's say and just seeing how she evolves from like this 
bright-eyed teacher to this really um, jaded, uh, prejudiced um, character towards the end of the book. And she, I would say she is probably one of the most central characters of this book, um, with how many other characters have connections to her. I really enjoyed that chapter. It was like, I don't know why, it's just so so human so painfully human and i know i keep kind of saying why in this review that this book is just human and realistic and flawed and complex but don't you want that in a book don't you want a literary fiction novel that is supposed to be telling the lives of these 12 different british um characters don't you want that book to be painfully human because that's the only way that you kind of connect and get really drawn into their stories by seeing people that you know reflect in the characters or maybe parts of yourself reflected in these characters. The first half of the book I was kind of just I didn't know where this book wanted to take me because I didn't really read the summary of synopsis of this book so I'm like okay we're just jumping from character to character. Um, so I wasn't quite sure what I was expecting and it really took me to three quarters of the book and I'd say that the first three quarters of the book was bad like at all still like brilliant writing brilliant characterizations but i think it really took me like the last quarter of this book to really kind of get what the what the author wanted to do and to really appreciate how connected all these stories are and how um how varied these characters are i do want to just draw some attention onto the issues that are raised in this book because we have a lot of discussions around feminism and it was really interesting to see how each different character talks about feminism or their relations to feminism and some of them saying that we are like the OGs of this type of feminism and then other people other characters kind of rejecting that feminism we have people that are trying to um, assimilate into the white patriarchy and they have others who are like rebelling against it we have um one character which is particularly younger I think like um most of the characters in this book are around like I would say like over 25 at least like most of them are like middle-aged like women basically um but we do have one character named Yaz and she was um a really fun uh, character to follow as well because she is younger she I think she was in like she's in university and um her <laughs> kind of observations about stuff is just it was just so hilarious because it's like some it's like some of the thoughts that I have, some of the thoughts that I see like on social media. If I had to say anything, I would say that I would have liked more of a young um I would want more perspectives from young people. I think the non binary characters while well, um Morgan, I think that perspective was on the younger side as well. But um overall I feel like I would have liked more of a younger perspective on all these different issues that um, Bernadine Alvarez was talking about but also just appreciated the older perspective and kind of seeing how these perspectives change within time. I don't know what else to say about this book but to say that it's so refreshing to just read characters and like particularly like female characters just talking about all these different issues in like such a frank way on my book now it, just, it says this is britain as you've never seen it this is britain as it's never been told it is future it is past it is fiction it is history it's a novel about who we are now and i feel like those four lines sum up this book perfectly and with what it's trying to do and with what it's trying to reflect this book being so unapologetically like british i just love it um, and it could really just connect more to the characters I guess and connect more to the um, reflections in this book. This is just a perfect portrait of modern Britain and modern society and modern issues and older issues and I just love this book so much and I understand why it's so critically acclaimed. Please read this novel. But that's it for my review. Please tell me down below if you've read this book and if you share the same thoughts and feelings about it. If you haven't read this book but you still um, want to kind of read it, maybe it's on your TBR pile or if it's now on your TBR pile. And if you just like my review in general because I always love feedback and I love knowing if you guys think um, my reviews are good or not. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon on another video. Remember to like, subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys soon on another video. Bye!